Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of New Horizons. In the last episode, we actually got to set up Blather's tent and everything, because we sent in five creatures. And I decided at the end, we were actually going to do a little bit of time traveling, just so we could, you know, make some good progress, gather more resources, that sort of thing. So I did go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and jump into it, though. Blather's tent is already... He's here. He has arrived. Okay, I wasn't sure if it'd be the next day or like two days. Looks like it's just one and I'm so excited. Blathers is my favorite. Oh, something special is happening. Oh, a little announcement. Oh my God. Testing, testing, test, test, test. Hello every- <laughs> Oh dear, so sorry about that. Volume was a little loud there. Hello everyone. Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island updates, going-ons, and such. Hmm? I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. Now, it's only fitting that we kick off the daily ritual with a doozy of an island announcement. The Everglow Airport is now open for business. Starting today, you can use online or local communication to fly to other islands for a visit. That's good, because me and my friend are probably going to be doing that. I don't have... Nintendo Online right now, I should probably get that so that we can actually all, you know, play together. I'll be getting that soon, but have not as of now. That's not all! No, no. The airport counter now offers postal services. Ooh. And just like the resident services center, the airport is open 24 hours a day, which I love. I do not have a normal sleep schedule. If you think I'm normally awake before like 1 or 2 p.m., you are wrong. I am up late and I sleep late. So I'm glad that this game is all like 24 hour and everything. Oh, I do have one other item to share and it too is a Whopper. Hmm? As of this very day, a brilliant fellow by the name of Blathers will be joining us on Everglow. I'm so pretty. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to study Everglow. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all for me. I do hope you'll enjoy another fine day of luxurious Everglow living. I love this game. I'm having a great time. So good. So good. I love that. That's such a neat little thing. Alright, we have more mail. There is luckily- oh, oh, there's a sparkle on the ground. Oh, we have a letter from our mom! My dear Adamo, how is your new life treating you? Are you eating well? Brushing your teeth? Washing behind your ears? Oh dear, I'm all worked up. Here's a little something to help out. Eat it or plant it, but think of me. Alright, what is that? We'll keep that, that's kind of wholesome. We probably shouldn't, but we will for now. I don't really need it, but you know, pears! Oh, that's very useful. Thank you. Yes, we will be planning those. And now we can start our uh, stick gathering again so we can make our axe. And I also would definitely like to have a word with Blathers, that's for sure. Let's just pick up all the sticks we see. I'm still sad about the weeds. Like, I don't want to pull them. They look so beautiful. But I guess we have to, but I ain't doing it yet. I got other things that I am concerned with. Yeah, let's go talk with Blathers first off because I'm so excited. Oh, you know, we can talk to Pierce. He's right here. Why not? Hey, uh, Hawkeye, you good? Let's chat. Hey, isn't that the hat I gave you? Looks great. Really shows off your head muscle, Hawkeye. I love that they remember that. I'm so excited to see how the interactions have, like, improved and whatnot with the villagers. I have high hopes. And just, like, look at his sweater. Like, beautiful. Such a beautiful game. It's really come far from the GameCube. Like, really has. There are so many sticks out today. We are taking all of them. All right, let's meet Blathers. I love him. Hello. <laughs> oh, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha, could it be that you are Adamo, the personage who chose the location for this tent? I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research. Truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. I love him. What a nerd. He really do be blathering though. I love him. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess there's one smallish problem. Someone in the parking lot is playing loud music. I'm... I hate humans. I confess there's one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. 
Oh, okay, okay. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. So different this time around. I love it. So much improvement. <laughs> display cases with something to display. That is another matter. Which is where you come in. What, what? Allow me to explain. You see, it is not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too. Whew. As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. Yes. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you say. I can't just hop over it, you say. Whew, silly you. I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, Adamo, while I transmit the vital data to your nook phone. Alright, alright, is it going to be the, the pole thing? Because we definitely need that. <laughs> There, you see? With wood gathered from Everglome, you can make a lengthy vaulting pole. Yes. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go. Hootie hoo. I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please, Adamo, cross the river and seek out these ancient relics. My feathers, I have blathered on far too long. But let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more to be precise. That's not bad. That's not bad, probably. I think that's fine. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. Absolutely, and we already have a butterfly, so let's go ahead and give that to him. Please let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance. Uh, yeah, let's make a donation. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? All this talking, man. Oh, I need a sip. All right, let's give him that tiger butterfly. Eh, the tiger butterfly. The horror, the repugnance. Good heavens, I must retain my composure. Ahem. I beg your pardon. Bugs. I do detest them. Still, there is much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended. If you insist, that is. Uh, we're good. I've been talking so much. Yes, yes, understood. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. No bugs are the bane of my existence. Rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Glad to know. With this, we need 14 donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your continued contributions. Whew. All right, let's go get some wood. Make that vaulting pole. I'm excited. And that means we'll have more access to resources. Our little tree is growing. I didn't even really, like, take a good look at our flowers, did I? That's a shame. Guess we should kind of keep an eye on the ocean, too. And we had a thing to sell seashells, so... We should also do that. Oh, we can get up here now. That's so cute. Those are bugs, weren't they? I thought that was just like tiny little rock specks. My bad. I could have captured those. That's the wrong angle. Come on, you're right. You're, you're so close to it. There's another bug, but we already have that one. Fish. Fish. No. Oh, there it goes. Always oh, get so choppy. Oh, I love these little things. I got a sea butterfly. Try not to confuse it for a sea moth. So cute. <gasps> All right, we'll pick that up first, I guess, but we should talk to Gulliver. Oh my god. <laughs> Avast, storms are coming. Brace yourself, lads. Uh, hard to starboard, tough to port. Stern to stern. Oh, Gulliver. <laughs> Come on, wake up. You can do it. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Do we need a watering can to pour on him? No, there we go. Okay, we're good, we're good. Ugh. Do you have my pickled herring pizza? I already tipped online, so... Wait, I don't see a pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on. I know that one. I'm none Oliver than Gulliver, a seafaring seagull of the seven seas. Were you the one who kept nudging me just now? Thanks for the wake-up call. Those nasty halluc- Tasty, not nasty. Those tasty hallucinations tend to sneak up on me. Great. Can you find it in your heart to forgive this waterlogged bird brain? I'm reading your vacant expression as a yes. Phew. Guess I dozed off and tumbled overboard again. That's an endearing character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. Huh. Don't worry, the fellows will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace up my wing, you see. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy, uh, my, uh, oh my gosh, my handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. 
Oh, sardines. It's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Mm, that could take a while. I've only got enough nautical puns to last a couple of hours. I'm begging you here. Will you look for my communicator per parts? Please. Sure, okay, this is different. I like it, I like it. Really? Well? Or, I, I kind of got that mixed up. Really? Wow! I haven't gotten a reception this sweet and bubbly since I was washed up at old Coral Cola. The communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. Ooh, I'm just missing five parts. If you'll find them, I'll try to cram them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching you. I believe in you, partner. Oh, much of a choice. Guess we definitely need to make that shovel too, then, huh? We'll get on that shortly enough. Let's not pick up too many seashells just yet. Don't want to crowd out our inventory. I like the little guitar music too. It's really cute. And yeah, our flowers are definitely growing. I don't know how many uh, supplies we need for any of these. Also, I think we can collect more of these as well. Or is there just a new one? Dig up clams. All right. And active island resident. Based on the number of active days you spent here. Okay, that works. Let's look at the recipes real quick. So I think the things we want most of all right now are the shovel, which needs hardwood. So we'll actually need the ax for that, I believe, which we can now make and the vaulting pole, which takes softwood. Okay, so let's go make that ax. I'm gonna feel bad chopping down trees though. I don't wanna do it. <gasps> There's a present over there. Oh, I didn't make a slingshot though. And also we can't go over there yet. So, all right, let's go ahead and make that make the axe and that should let us make everything else hopefully there we go i made it from the axe all done for now i think but now i have to chop down trees and i i hate doing that we'll have to buy more saplings i guess this just feels bad i don't want to do it <laughs> okay that is dropping a lot of wood so oh you know it probably can't chop down the trees we just gather a little bit of wood that makes me feel a lot better i didn't want to be going around like devastating this poor island that works. I'm perfectly okay with that. Game still remains just as beautiful as I thought. Like, I'm actually adoring this so much. I can already tell I'm I'm getting addicted. That's probably enough wood. I'm actually not sure, but this is kind of fun. I always find in games, I just really love like harvesting crafting materials. I always spend so much time doing it. Also, it looks like we have some more nook miles to claim. Oh, we still actually do need more hardwood. Okay, good to know, good to know. We can make the vaulting pole though, so good. All right, we get some miles based on all the wood we've chopped. I I love this system, so good, so good. I, I think I keep saying it. I should probably shut up. I think y'all know. Oh, I actually forgot to claim one. <laughs> Gotten used to your nook phone. The fact that you're reading this probably means you have. Keep using it and get some nook miles just for getting familiar with it. Oh, all right, handy, handy. I'll take it. I assume once we get to 5,000, we get to build our house. That's exciting. Oh, we actually have enough for both now, okay. Let's go craft those up real quick. Oh, we forgot to look at the message bottle. Let's open that up. <gasps> they have recipes in them. Oh my god. To overfish is this out of the surf. Bet you weren't expecting to find a DIY recipe washed up in a bottle. You would be correct. <laughs> Keep an open mind. I always say, this crafting project is something to help you reflect. Build it and you'll see what I'm getting at. Wishing you luck, Walt. All right. Wooden full-length mirror. Oh, cool. Yeah, learn that. Learn that. I assume that lets us change our appearance. Oh, sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a wooden full-length mirror. Very useful. But let's craft up some stuff real quick. First, let's make the pole, because that's probably the most important. <laughs> okay, keep crafting and make us that uh, shovel. <laughs> Was about to make another axe. How much is it for the mirror, I wonder? Hmm. An iron nugget, I see. Well, that's okay, let's just go ahead and make the shovel for now. There we go! All right, we can go to the other side of the island. I'm excited. I do really quick want to, um, more Nook Miles. I want to go in front of our house because there was that shining spot and I really want to know what that is. It's either like the gold area or that's what indicates a fossil now. I am unsure. Or it could be something else entirely, I don't know. Oh, we're getting close to 5,000. We're getting there, friends. All right, let's see what this is all about. Oh, so many tools to swap through. <laughs> I hear a bug, like a cricket or something. Oh, that's so cozy. I love it. Um, I feel like I'm not getting the right angle on this. Let's just go for it. No, incorrect. You tried your best. There we go. Oh, it was the bell. <gasps> okay, a thousand bells. Great. Now we could probably bury something there, but eh, we'll save that for another day. 
That gave us something as well. Pater! Okay, I bet you didn't think you'd find buried bells here. But this is an island, after all. Buried treasure and whatnot. Enjoy some Nook Miles. Okay. I will. Alright. Let's go across the river. This is so exciting. I love it. The exploration. Oh, actually, there's a fish. I should probably catch some of the fish. <laughs> this might be another black bass, but that's okay. We want to look nonetheless. So it is. We can sell them now. In fact, I should probably sell some stuff real quick before we head over there. Our inventory is looking pretty full. Oh, we didn't give Blathers the sea butterfly. We need to do that, but we'll do that later. We actually don't really have a whole lot to sell. Most of it is just like all of this. Oh, I need to put the thousand bells up in there, I guess. When I was picking out from the trees, it just kind of automatically did it. So I was thinking it would. 580 bells, not as good as I'd hoped, but that's okay. Let's go ahead. Can I put that away? There we go. All right, let's go now. Off we go. Do we just, yeah, just do it like that. Okay, here we are. The other side. Let's just take a little stroll around, see what we can find. I feel like I'm gonna walk past some of the fossil indications. Apparently not, I see this one right away, but um, just cause the ground is so much more cluttered. Look at the flowers, this is beautiful. And a praying mantis and a bee. Oh my God, we have so much to catch over here too. This is great. Dig that up. There we go, our first fossil. We will bring that to Blathers in a moment. I have a feeling we will have a lot to bring him. Okay, there's some bugs right there. I shall catch them, hopefully. All these tools, man. Taking up a lot of room. Oh, they're getting tense. Catch him. There we go. I caught a wharf roach. This water loving roach has no peer. Gross. <gasps> you can see the other islands off in the distance. That makes me so happy. So cute. I don't know how we get up there yet. Hopefully, we'll find something to let us up, but for now, we're just exploring along here. This is so pretty. Like. <sighs> Oh my god. Alright, looks like we need to hop over this way. Let me get my rock tool out. There we go. Should probably have dropped some of them in the house, but I don't know. You'll never know when you'll need some of them over here, you know? Alright, here's another fossil spot. There we go. Oh, another bug right there, but I can't get to him yet. <laughs> I assume the vaulting pole does not work like that. I would not be surprised, but here's another fossil. I dug up the weeds instead. I have not gotten used to my placement, apparently. We'll, we'll get used to it, it's fine. Oh, oh hurry up, I'm getting your net out. Ah, catch it, I missed. Okay, there we go, we have it, we have it, we're good. <laughs> I caught a paper kite butterfly. Do I read it, fly it, or spread it on toast? Simple. <sighs> I hear that cricket around again. Where is it though? It might be the one that's underground? Can't remember. Maybe it's the one that's underground. I don't know. We might not be able to get to it yet. <gasps> what is this? What? This is supposed to be a deserted island. How did this get here? I might just catch a fish. <laughs> you know, he just had to do it to us. <laughs> a sea bass. No, wait, it's at least a C. Plus. All right. <laughs> Now, our inventory is getting pretty full, so we should probably go ahead and head back. We've got three fossils. I don't know if that's all of them or not, but that's what I'm thinking is uh, all we can hold at least. So let's go back to Blathers. Here we are. Please let me know if you have items to donate that we do. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? We have a whole lot for you. Oh, we're doing it one at a time, aren't we? Ah, back to that. Oh, indeed, there can be no doubt this is a fossil. Might just be doing this for the first fossil? I don't know. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable. My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. Yeah, this might just be a special thing. But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Oh, this is more assuredly a right quetzal wing. My feathers, what a fabulous fossil. This right quetzal wing would be a sizable step towards opening the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? I mean, that's what I'm here for. Oh, how wonderful. I'll add this to the collection with the utmost haste. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved right quetzal wing. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I am quite knowledgeable, you know. I believe you, but I've been talking so much today, and I'm going to be talking a whole lot more, so I think- uh, I'm, I'm a bit busy, I'm sorry. See, very well. He looks sad. No! 
I shall gladly accept your generous donation. We have so much to donate to you. We can't, we can't listen to you blather each time. I'm sorry, my friends. Oh, this also applies to the fossil you've brought this time, but only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. From now on, do please bring me any fossils of unknown origins. We know that. Whether or not you choose to donate it is up to you. Either well, I shall. Either way, I shall gladly assess it. By the by, I wonder if you could have anything else that I do. I can't give him the other fossils right now. Oh, well, well all right. Oh, he's gonna be doing a lot of talking. Okay, we might. We might skip past all of this donating, unless if he says something in particular. Okay, so we need nine more donations. I might need him to assess the fossils before I can donate them to him, so we should only need like seven more after that. Let's see. Yeah, assess fossils. I thought that was the case. And we can do both of those at once, so that's good. A diplo tell and a diplo chest. Okay, two things from the same thing. I like that. You know what, this time I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna tell him he should tell us about it, because he just looks sad whenever you give him a fossil, especially. It's like, I know he studied hard. It's like, he couldn't do this in the first game. I can't remember if he could do it in Wild World. He couldn't do it in the GameCube version. So he, he spent so much time learning all of this and he's just eager to share. We're gonna let him do it. I'm not gonna read all of it, but you know, please do. Look how happy he is about it. Ah, he's so cute. I, I just gotta let him do it. Even if I don't read it out, I just feel like I gotta, especially when it comes to fossils. Look how happy he is about it. He's so excited. I love him. I, I adore him. What a nifty guy. So knowledgeable. <laughs> Seven donations. All right. Don't know if we'll be able to do that all today, but I can try to find some more. Now, our Nook Miles thing said something about digging up clams on the beach. So if we dig some holes, we just gonna find some clams. Do I donate those or I, I have no idea. Okay, yeah, I'm not- I'm not seeing anything right away. Maybe I might be wasting my time. <laughs> we'll try again later. Maybe I'll actually look at the thing again later. Oh, we did, however, need to look for his parts. Did he say those would be buried? I think he did. Is there, like, any indicator? I haven't seen anything. Maybe I should run around a bit. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, <gasps> there must be a clam. Or a communicator part. Okay, there is an indicator. That's good to know. We should, yeah, just walk around the beaches a little bit until we see something. It might just be all around the island too. We might need to jump back over there. Oh, there's one, there's one. Yes, okay. Well, that's cool, I like that. New things to keep an eye out for, you know? Oh, that one was actually a clam. All right. There we go. I assume... Oh, it could be useful fishing bait. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. Okay, okay. We might use that, but we might be able to give that to Blathers. I don't know if he's interested in clams, but I feel like he would be, so. <gasps> There's another thing. There we go. Another communicator part. I feel like that's four now, isn't it? I guess I should probably check. Did not want to dig back there. No, that's three. Ah. Well, I'm not really seeing anything else around here, so I guess we'll just go ahead and head up on this way. See if we can find anything on this area. Oh, yep, there's one right there. There we go, that's four now. And here's another one. There we go, that's all of them. All right, let's head back to Gulliver. There's another thing there though. We might as well, I mean, we saw it. Another clam, all right. I think that's, yep, the same one. Hey, did you find him? I got him right here. I wonder what we get for this. So many new things to learn about. Oh, that's them. Those are definitely my communicator parts. Come here, you little troublemakers. All right. All right, the pieces are crammed back in here. Let's see if this thing can send a message. Ahoy there, crew. It's me, your brother from another rudder. <laughs> so listen, it happened again. Can you swing by to pick me up? Sending my coordinates now. Gulliver, over and out. There, that should do it. You're the best. Thanks for all your help. I promise to return the favor. Be sure to check your mail in a few days. I'm gonna send you something that'll knock your flippers off. Just make you just make sure you put some flippers on before you open it, okay? Ah, I'm saved. Nothing to do now but pace back and forth for the next few hours. Better get started. Exciting times. <gasps> oh, we can't actually make fish bait. Okay, there we go. Once again, I'm gonna see if Blathers wants that first, but if not. That'll be useful, so. Oh, is that the final? 
That's all the miles we needed. Oh my god, we did it! Okay, we got to 5,000. Alright, so I guess after we talk to Blathers, we should definitely go talk to Mr. Nook himself. And maybe we'll get to build our house? I don't know. I don't know what happens after that. Oh, no. Okay, he doesn't want the clams. He doesn't want them. I'm not surprised, but it's whatever. We tried, and that's all that matters. Let's talk to Tom Nook. Hi, Damo. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? About my moving fees, I suppose. Oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees? Very well. You owe 5,000 miles. I'm ready to pay. Thank you so much. Indeed, that is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. With that, your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for us both, hmm? Yes, yes, you're free and clear of debt. Living on a thriving, scenic island. What could be better? Huh, that was an actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? Yep, here we go, here we go. It's fine, I guess. Uh, just fine? But consider doing fine on a formerly deserted island is actually quite good, hmm? Together, we're reshaping this barren wasteland- I mean, pristine paradise into a lovely community. Ah, uh, yes, but we mustn't rest on our laurels, hmm? Perhaps there is more we could do. Yes, yes, I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of, dis of building custom homes. Now, there are certain challenges to building fabulous homes in a remote location such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into costs, I'm afraid. Ah, but with zero interest financing and an extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So, Donna, if you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come see me. Oh, one more thing to share. I We have a miles redemption service for the Nook miles you've collected. When you access the Nook stop, you'll be able to redeem your miles for lots of interesting things. I guess we should look at that. You'll be, you'll be sure to check it out sometime soon, hmm? Well then, I hope you continue to enjoy your getaway package life. Alright, well, let's... Enjoy Contra, please. It's gotten so bad lately. Uh, there we go, we got some more miles for turning in our miles. Look at that. <laughs> You really get them for everything, don't you? All right, let's talk about that house. Look at that stuff. We should actually probably check the shop too, see what they're selling today. About my home. Oh, Adamo, have you made a decision about home ownership? Ready to move forward into comfort and luxury? As fun as living in a tent can be, a house gives you more space and helps you put down roots. Now, building a house means taking on a new loan in the amount of 98,000 bells. So what do you think? Ready to build your own home sweet home? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for your business. I'll get construction started right away. By the way, you get to choose from eight different colors for the roof. Could you please select a roof color from this list? Hmm? We will go with a different color. <laughs> there are four other options. We'll go with blue for now. We'll probably be able to change it. Okay, you'll have a blue roof. I'll get that order in for you. Yes, yes. Oh, one more thing. Homeowners get an automatic Nook mileage program upgrade. Just give me one moment. Hmm? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, there we go. I've updated your program membership details, Adamo. Now when you use the Nook Miles app, you'll have access to all the Nook Miles Plus benefits. Nook Miles Plus includes a nifty way to earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you launch the app, so please give it a look when you can. That is all for me. Your wonderful new home should be ready tomorrow. Very fast. Quite exciting, yes? Well, alright. Let's we'll see what we can get with this. Oh, how could I forget, hmm? I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. Okay. That is our Nook Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. Of course, you can use this terminal for catalog shopping or as an ABD, but you can also redeem Nook Miles. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Alright, let's have a look-see then. Once per day, accessing the Nook Miles Stop will award you bonus daily miles. You get them so easy. <laughs> Your account is now registered. We hope you continue to enjoy the many benefits. I guess let's redeem? I don't know. What does this do? I have no idea. Take this ticket to the airport to participate in a special tour. Oh, oh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Custom design pro editor, pretty good tools, recipes. All right, tool ring. That does sound pretty essential, doesn't it? Pocket organization guide? Hmm. Yeah, okay, so more more backpack room. More hairs? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Some walls and flooring and rugs. I love the rugs. Oh. Okay, that's really cool. That's nice to know. We will definitely be getting some of those. I'll probably try to work on that once uh, 
I'm not recording. I don't know. I'm afraid to make too much progress because I want you guys to see like stuff like when we build the town hall and once Isabel comes in. I'd like for you guys to be able to see that, but I'd also like to be able to enjoy the game also like when I'm not recording sometimes. You get what I'm saying? I'll, I'll try not to do anything too important, hopefully. Oh, we could get the Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch on here. It mocks me because I'm too poor to afford it on here too. <laughs> but okay, yeah, that's nice to know. New things, new things. Always... A fan of that. Nothing really here speaking to me, but I'm sure we'll, we'll find something. We'll find something. So we can do some online shopping. What's the ABD? Is that just like a... Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Let's see what they have in store today, though. Do we have anything to sell? I should probably check. No. We could sell the clams, but we could also make them into bait, and that would be useful. He's selling a plastic canister and campfire cookware. How exciting. All right. Flowers, eh. The white pansies, maybe? I don't know what the wind flowers even are. I have no idea. We might buy the campfire. Just because we need to spend some bells, we need to get the local economy going, you know? We'll buy it. Why not? Probably gonna regret that when I need to pay off my house and whatnot, but it's fine. It's, it's kind of fantasy-esque, you know? We'll probably have a little camping area. It'll be fine. Let's go plop that down in front of our house. That'll be so cute. Oh. I guess we'll just place that right there. Losing my voice. Ah. Oh, look at that. Don't, don't dig it up. Can we like light the fire? Oh, it's so cute. We can even scoot it around out here. Oh my God. Bless. This is all I've ever wanted in Animal Crossing games. To be able to put stuff outside. But I think that might be where we go ahead and end this episode because I'm wanting to record one more. And my boyfriend's about to get off of work. <laughs> And I don't want to be rude and record while he's here. So I'm going to try to do one more real quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to leave it a like. Maybe consider supporting my coffee or Patreon if you want to help support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.